Okay. Yeah, so white people are kind of dicks, ain't they? <laughs> yeah. But, um. Well, black people, they just take it for granted. It's just known in the black community. I feel like, I feel like you, you got your good ones, you got your bad ones, and everything. Yeah, what do you think percentage is? You think 50 50? No. You think 50% of white people are bad? No, I feel like I feel bad. like what percentage is it? How would you break that? <laughs> I wouldn't say good or bad. I'd say racist and not racist, but I would say ignorant. Racist is ignorant. I would say like eighty percent of white people are racist, and then like in about twenty years, that a lot of those people that I'll say about sixty, forty. What about black people? I say about seventy-five percent of black people are racist. Then you wouldn't say that. Um, Black people, the only difference between white people and white people with racism is that black people are loud about it and they tell everyone yeah. what's going on. Yeah, yeah that's, not, that's basically the only difference. Um, that's, that's why I say a large number would be white because they keep it clandestine. You know, they don't reveal it unless they're around somebody. Not even somebody that's white, somebody that's like minded like them. Like if they say it, they're afraid to say it around other white people because. Unless they initiate the racism first, like yeah, like see. I don't know. What about I don't know. I don't know. We're supposed to talk about white people. But like I went on a bike, like right here, like on your block, and it was like, "Where are you going, white boy? Where are you going with that bike, white boy?" And I didn't feel very safe. I mean, I guess like that camaraderie you were talking about that black yeah. people have. Like somehow, I was, for some reason, I was out of that camaraderie loop. Yeah, you wasn't in the loop, man. <laughs> And I got more soul than most white people, so yeah, come on, man. black people, give me a break. That's that's another thing. Like people generalize, man. They generalize to see who's racist, who's you know who's this, who that, and you really don't know. And it really doesn't matter because most of us are racist. We live in America. Right. America. America's built off racism. It's it's ingrained in our in our brain, our mind, our way of thinking. Like, people just voted for Barack Obama because he's black. People just voted for John McCain because he's white. And then you have people who actually looked at the issue <laughs> and they voted based on that. And then you have just people who actually know what's going on in the world and see that they both work for the same people. That happened in Cincinnati, too. Uh, there's a white guy and a black guy. A black mayor actually was elected right after the riots. So, riots aren't all bad. Um, they also got a Citizens Complaint Board, too, in Cincinnati. But the uh, election was straight down. If you're white, you voted for the white guy. If you're black, you voted for the black person. And, but there's more, there's 50% of black people in Cincinnati compared to like 22% here in Louisville. So they actually make the majority, especially voting population. 25% so is what we vote here. Yeah. The first black mayor ever. They had rights and the next uh, mayoral election was the uh, first black mayor ever. When was this? 2001 were the rights, so maybe 2002, 2003. Cincinnati had rights and all one. Yeah. About what? Timothy uh, Thomas got shot in the alley, 17 year old, for having too many parking tickets. And um, he was running, I don't know, those, the racist story that got around, he was running, his pants was baggy, he reached down to pick up his pants, the cop thought it was a gun, shot him. But I, I think it's a fat fucking pig fucker, dick fucking piece of shit that didn't want to chase a fucking young person that was running away from him. So he shot him. And so he shot and killed him. I mean, I've seen a lot of police shoot at people because they didn't want to chase him. But that's uh, what the fuck is that? That you have a right to defend yourself and like you're not hurting the guy to murder somebody because they're running away. Nah, the cop, you gotta catch me, motherfucker. You gotta put your arms around me and get me on the ground and put the handcuffs. On. I mean, if people are scared of police. Like, even if they see a cop pull out a gun, anybody with a gun. Yeah, your first reaction is to run. So I don't. Well, what about like when a cop likes? I had to go back to it. Uh, I don't actually know. Menu probably. I don't know. We can watch it later. Uh, shooting playback function. Even here. Shooting. It's recording. It's still fucking recording. Mm -hmm. We should we gotta turn on time. He pushes you. First reaction, I feel like he just fucking hit him back. I don't know. I feel like that's my. Nah, I want my first reaction not to hit a cop back. Hit anybody, anybody back? Anybody he ain't, he's a man. Just because he got a, the state behind him, that makes him better. It makes him. That's uh, there's white people. Seventy five percent of police is white. Fucking Nazi, fascist, fucking idiots. You have to like stalk him and 
Just wait till he's out of uniform and shoot his ass. What's the worst thing about white people? Worst thing about white people? No, we didn't get about the best thing about white people. But then we did the, oh. Okay. The best we did do the best white. first. The best thing people. about white people is white women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Women of all races is good. I think actually the racism is just with the men. <laughs> it's just. Dave Chappelle had a joke about like with men he sees different races, but when it comes to women his dick is a humanitarian. Yes. <laughs> I kind of I see that. Okay, the best thing about white people is white women. Um, Stop. White women and um yogurt shops and, and didn't white people invent ice cream? <laughs> they might have. I guess they've invented the internet, the Gutenberg printing press revolution. A lot I would of say watch the internet, it, a lot of technology, white a lot of scientists. And Einstein. ice cream. <laughs> and um, and I would also say designer weed. That would be the best thing about white people. They're the ones that come up with the weed. I think I'm not yeah. sure if it was them because yeah. like the best, the most famous grower is like this Asian dude, and he made the olive blue cheese. Or the cheese, the cheese with blue cheese. Cushy. What is the best thing about white people? Well, I can't. I, even those things are the scientists. I guess the science is pretty good. The enlightenment, ideas, thinking about freedom, I mean, self-government. Nah, white people they invent self-government. Uma. Uma. They reminded the, uh, our generation of it all. Okay, what? I don't know. Oh my God! I say, did you read that education piece? What the one you? Yeah, yeah, I guess the, the one major point, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. <laughs> I've been thinking everything's uh, Thomas Hobbes. It's all dog-eat-dog -dog capitalism. Everybody's going to try to fuck everybody over. It's all just a natural uh, the state of nature of man. If you're to take all the civilization and the laws and all the things away, how are we like in the state of nature as like a, the original Native American or caveman? How do we act? Hobbes says it's all war against everybody. It's nasty, short, brutish, um, uh, solitary. Uh, so it's bad. It sucks. Rousseau has the exact opposite one. And he says that we're born good. And we have natural inclinations to treat each other the way we want to be treated. But the institutions are the ones that corrupt us. Mm, I, would, I would have a different view, but a little bit on both the of them. Lines. I say we're born neutral, and the institutions can either corrupt us or make us better. Wow. So if we were just to be raised in a state of nature, we would just kind of just be looking at each other, just in a state of, in a state of nature. I think if you, like in extreme cases where survival takes over, you may do some horrible things like kill something. But is it possible that, if to you have all your needs band met, together and work out an agreement and go out and? Figure out how to feed yourself. I mean, if we, if you said if you just dropped in nature, you wouldn't know any languages, so if you are, you know. If I went in there with you, I figured it would just be because you're late now. Yeah, worst thing about white people? The worst thing about white people is. They're fucking violent since 1492. You motherfuckers. The worst thing about white people is the United States military. Nice. There's black people in the military, though. Colin Powell. Yep. But white people in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> white, white people gotta have a stick up their ass. Black people ain't shit. <laughs> White people ain't shit. Always with a stick up their ass. Like they like they got some like they're better than everybody. Fuck what's what you deal with white people? Like you fucking better than everybody. You ain't better than everybody. You got all the wealth, you got fucking cars, you got the house. What the fuck is your fucking problem? Man, I ain't being said dicks. Man, I ain't nothing like a fucking bougie dicks. ass niggas, man. Ain't nothing like bougie ass niggas. Bougie ass, ass niggas got flavor. Man, they ain't got white no people ain't got no man. flavor at all. They oh, white, they colorless, they tasteless, they ain't got nothing. They pale, that's what white is. It's the absence of any type of flavor, any type of color. It's nothing. Man, these niggas. Oh, boy, bro. These niggas got more churches than they got schools. You know what I'm saying? 
flunking out of school, the graduation. We rate. flunking out of school. Two out of five Kentuckians cannot read. We can't fucking read. We don't. We can't read. We don't have teeth. We're catching cancer. Violent. Shit. Every time I see them, fucking racist a white people, you fucking racist. Down. White uh, means you know racist. Man. That's what white means. Man, white. And Black is empowerment people. against the whites. It's a good thing. Man, that, ain't, that ain't what it is, bro. What it, what it really is, bro. What it all boils down to, okay? It was hard. Man. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, uh, okay. Black people, man. They having abortions. <laughs> yeah. The, I'm, they I, I, they I, shooting, you know. They shoot. Okay. Guns, yeah, they shoot. guns, violence exactly. all over the place. Poverty, crack. But you know what I looked up, bro? The police, and because they ain't part of the system, they like, you know. You know, I looked up 63% of the people who commit homicides year to year are like white men. Yeah, yeah, white men. You're fucking the serial killers, white people. You're the serial killers. You're the military. Since 1492, it's all you've done is fucking kill. Let's fucking stop it, you fucking dickheads. <laughs>